Hi Pisces, welcome to a new week. We are covering September 30th till October 6th, and we're gonna look into your health, your career work finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships. And I'm also going to get a message for the new moon solar eclipse in Libra this week happening on October 2nd. And I did already post the weekly astrological energies video, so make sure you go check that out and watch that before we get into your specific sign. And I did also already post the October monthly and in a separate video, the October monthly astrological energies but it's just covering the first half of October, okay? But maybe you already checked it out. Okay, and I'll have a link to the extended reading below in the description box if you're interested afterwards as a part two and a continuation. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. So for all my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus, what is our message for the new moon solar eclipse in Libra this week? All right, so Pisces, we got Irama, I think that's how you say it, or Irama, and it says, where are you being called to journey to? Where are you being called to journey to? All right, so this week with this new moon solar eclipse, and new moon, what eclipses and or the new moon solar eclipse is all about like your soul evolution and your soul like waking up to who you really are. And because it's in Libra, it's like how you relate, how you conduct yourself in relationships. Um, are you in fair, balanced, harmonious, peaceful relationships? If not, how can you get there or how can you heal relationships so that it is more fair and balanced and something that adds peace and uh, harmony to your life, not the opposite. So this week with the new moon solar eclipse, you're being asked to ask yourself that question, where are you being called to journey to? So there's somewhere that you need to be, somewhere where maybe you're trying to get so a destination, a place, your goal, your dreams, and you're being asked to think about this. Like, where are you going? Why are you going there? How are you going to get there? Why do you want to go there? And where are you being called to journey to? Because maybe you've been feeling like you've received a calling, like I need to go here or I need to go on this path. And maybe you haven't taken it seriously or you haven't um, really explored that question to really like assess what am I doing? Am I going in the right direction? And if so, how am I going to get there? Or am I on that path? So where are you being called to journey to? Something to think about. All right, now let's get into your health. So this week, when it comes to your health, body, mind, soul, spirit, you guys got the queen of wands. All right, so this week, um, some of you could have fire in your chart, like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, or you're dealing with the fire sign, maybe when it comes to your health, like maybe your doctor, your trainer, or someone who helps you health with health related things could be a fire sign. But I feel like overall for you guys this week, you're receiving energy and attention maybe from others that could in turn help you feel more confident, comfortable in your own skin. And you may be coming across very attractive or inspirational or motivating and you may feel energized to maybe express yourself through your uh maybe through your fashion or through your makeup or um you know when you go work out or do some exercise you may kind of want to put you know your own little flavor and twist to what it is that you're doing so you may be more in your elements feeling more in tune with your body maybe you're feeling a little more um flirty or you're feeling um i guess more experimental so you just may be feeling yourself a little bit more and wanting to express it or more sassy um fired up but i feel like you're receiving energy and attention and you, you just may be confident and uh you have the energy to maybe kind of exert yourself a little bit more or um show a little bit more of your personality through your health okay all right, and then when it comes to your uh, work, school, career, and finances, uh, you guys got the Ace of Cups. So this week, when it comes to your health, so I mean not health, uh, finances, sorry, this is like the last reading of the day and I've done like so many. Um, so finances, work, school, projects, um, 
contracts, deals, business, anything of that nature, you have an opportunity for a new beginning. So you may be receiving a offer here that's going to be very emotionally fulfilling or make you feel really excited. So something that you may feel emotionally connected to. So you may have an opportunity for a new job, maybe a new venture, a new business venture, maybe making some kind of new connection that's going to help you with your career, your future. Uh, you may be trying something new for your business, but there's some kind of new beginning here, a new offer that may be coming across your way, or you may be initiating and starting for yourself. And it does look like this new offer for a new beginning could be really emotionally fulfilling, or you may be really connected to this emotionally. Okay. So, new beginning here um, or a new connection maybe that will maybe make you feel more driven or give you more purpose and meaning behind what you're doing. All right, now when it comes to your love, romance, dating or relationships on your side, so this is your energy, we got here Queen of Pentacles, Strength and the Four of Cups. So some of you could have Leo, maybe someone in your chart or Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, on this other side for this other person, so this could be someone you're dealing with right now or you will be dealing with at some point, and this is their energies. So we got here the King of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and the High Priestess. All right, so as far as who you could be dealing with, this person could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, or they themselves could also be another Pisces like you or have Pisces somewhere in their chart as well. So air water or Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inner Venus, but it doesn't have to be, it could be any sign like I always say to you guys, it could just be the energy this person is embodying, playing out, or maybe be like a mixed match of one of those. All right, so what is going on here? I will say you have two queens on your side, right? On the health sector, you got the queen of wands, and now here, uh, the first card up, you got the queen of pentacles. And what's interesting is that when I was shuffling earlier, um, before I was like completed, you know, my sentence in my head, this card flipped up or it came out, but I put it back because I was like, oh, I haven't finished my thoughts and then I'll pick a card. But when I actually finished it, it popped out again. And I was like, ah, okay, okay, spirit. All right, all right. I should have listened the first time, but you want to come out? All right. <laughs> so I just thought that was funny. So um, I'm mentioning you got two queens here because I feel like you're on the receiving end. So you may be receiving energy, receiving um, attention, receiving maybe, uh, uh, you know, guidance or support or attention this week um, overall in your in your life. OK, and whoever you're dealing with here right uh, during this time or maybe this week, I feel like this person is um uh, has a good head on their shoulders. They seem to have a very smart, sharp mind. They know what they're doing or they're very clear in their communication, direct, straightforward. And they may be offering you a lot of guidance, uh, advice, uh, protection. And they're also in tune with you. I feel like they do have that intuitive ability as well. So they're connected to you and they're encouraging you or helping you to keep things private or they're helping you, protecting you in private. Um, and I do feel like here that um, their first, middle or last name could start with a J as in jam, B as in boy, possibly. Um, but I will say here, like generally speaking, even not that the cards are saying it, but I just feel this energy that you're being protected at this time. You're being protected from the, um, like the universe is providing protection from you, for protection for you, or you're being protected from all evil. And if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of evil in the world right now and weird stuff, but I just feel like right now you guys are being protected and the universe is actually helping provide protection to you by providing this person in your life who is helping to guide you or direct you and show you, you know, the way, but in privacy, in private, behind closed doors, so that you don't get taken advantage of, or you don't get, you know, involved in anything that you shouldn't, or giving you the right advice that you need to hear that otherwise maybe you wouldn't have been open to or have had heard. Okay, so someone here is really smart, uh, very logical, and is able to speak reason or be the voice of reason in your life when maybe you're confused or you have questions. 
and they're coming at they're in your life or coming to your life at the right place the right time and um providing like you almost may feel really lucky to have this person if you guys have watched that show uh, that tv show series on amazon prime called um the wheel of time i mentioned it in one of my shorts um it's like they're the uh, what's it called oh my gosh i can't think of it now it just left my mind but they're like that protector to the Aes Sedai. you know uh, what was that what, was, what were they called the guys who are always traveling with the Aes Sedai and protecting them like they're that's like this person to you like you're the Aes Sedai and they're like that warrior that's always by your side protecting you no matter what it's like you guys have this like soul tie contract with each other i can't remember the name right now what they're called but let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about, you remember. But anyways, so you're receiving, you're taking good care of yourself and this person's helping you to continue to take good care of yourself and make sure that you're grounded, um, practical, and you're able to do what you need to do and your energy is being protected and you're staying strong and vigilant. And I feel like they see that you have so much potential and they want to make sure that you're protected and they're, that you're not exposed or left vulnerable to predators you know and you don't become prey to the predators and so um you're gonna feel or this person actually feels really lucky really honored to be like helping you or serving you or be in your life or be your lover or whatever and uh you gain a lot of strength from this person because they have a lot of like strength in them and uh you're able to receive their logic or their words in a way that you can actually um put into practice in your life and it's really helpful for you and um, I am seeing here that by the end of the week you guys are connecting emotionally but this person is helping you sometimes you may not know how to express your emotions or what you're feeling or you may feel like kind of stuck in a rut or like mm, I'm just in this weird mood or this feeling but I can't explain why I'm feeling this way they understand but they know that in that moment they need to like watch your back or make sure that you're not overexposing or oversharing certain things so that you're protected at all costs and um i just feel like there's there's some there's some things going on behind the scenes that you're you don't totally know or you don't totally understand but it's for your highest good it's to help protect you right now so if you kind of feel like your life lately has been like almost like you kind of have to be in hiding or things are not as uh you've just been struggling overall it's because like right now you're not meant to be in the limelight you're not meant to be on display or you know on um on stage right now your energy has to be protected at this time for whatever reason and that's going to play out you know differently in 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 you know for everybody but in some way shape or form that is playing out for most of for a lot of my pisces out there okay all right, so let's continue Song of Extended to get more information to see where their energy is at, what are they thinking, what are they uh, feeling when it comes to you, uh, what they don't want you to know that maybe you should know, and what their next action move will be towards you, and then follow it up with your advice at the end. And I will say, whoever's in your life right now, like you're in your personal life or comes into your personal life, um, and you can tell that they know what they're talking about, they're smart, and they mean well, you can probably trust this person. They're really trying to help you and um, they're here to help you. And I feel like the universe is providing them to protect you, okay? But I think that's something you'll intuitively already feel. You may not fully understand it or know how to like explain it or pinpoint it, but you can feel it on like a subconscious level, okay? All right, so let's get T-Son of Extended. Sorry to get all like on you, but I just felt like I had to express that. So let's continue on an extended link will be below. I'll see you guys there. I'll see you for your next reading. Take care. Bye.